jank little moment. For the Pokemon League. So now let's take on the champion. Let's see who it is. Wait. Cynthia is the champion? What? No, I already knew that, sorry guys. But yeah, it's probably shocking. Well, it's not really shocking. Uh, if you've if it's your first time playing the game, like, it's kind of hinted at, you know, Cynthia being a very important character. Anyway, Cynthia says, have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Cornet, I'm truly grateful. Together you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've tri triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. Uh, the power you've learned, I can feel uh, emanating from you. I'm pretty sure I read that word wrong. Okay, yeah, but that's enough talk. Let's get to on. Let's get on to why you are here. You're here as the Pokemon League champion. I accept your challenge. So we yeah, had, you know, have a battle with uh, Cynthia. So that's pretty cool. Cynthia is one of the harder um, champions in Pokemon, honestly, at least in my opinion. So she's gonna start with a Spirit Tomb. Now there's no Fairy types in fourth generation. That, that didn't happen to like sixth generation. So this Spirit Tomb has no weaknesses. It's Ghost and Dark type. Uh, the only way you can really do it, land a super effective hit on it is if you know if you have a Pokemon that like a Machoke that knows Forest Sight or whatever, and then uh, you can use um, that gets rid of its Ghost types for a certain amount of time or maybe for the whole battle I guess, and then you can it just remains a Dark type Pokemon. You can just go ham on with Fighting type Fighting type moves. So I'm gonna try for a Dragon Pulse, see how much that does. It has 90 base power, so it's worth a shot. I think this thing has Levitate too, so that's why I didn't use. I didn't go for the um, Earthquake too. Oh, Embargo. Embargo makes it so I can't use healing items on Drago. At least for a certain amount of turns, I think. Not for the whole battle. Hopefully not. That'd be bad. Dragon Pulse again. Ah, oh, man. This is a little bit in the red health, though. Honestly, yeah. It's gonna use Silver Wind now. Okay. Maybe I was better off if I just used Dragon Claw or whatever. I might, try, I might try to do that. I mean, I'd rather get heal healing items out of the way right now than later on. So, yeah, it's gonna slowly heal up the free spirit team. It takes like two or three seconds to fully, you know, animate for the battle animations or whatever. The battle. So, yeah. Dragon Claw. Let's go for the. I'm gonna go for the crunch. It's neutrally effective. Oh my gosh. Guess I know you got your. Okay, guess I know Kai, okay. Okay. You know what? Since you did that, I'm gonna take advantage of that and try to take the, this uh, Lucario down with an earthquake. Oh, it's getting dragon. No, it ha I forgot it had dragon pulse. Come on, this could be super effective. Ah, it's not cool. It's not cool at all, Lucario. I hope this earthquake faints you, Lucario, Cynthia. <laughs> that was a that was a really tricky move there. You just pulled on me. It's level 63 though, jeez. Yes, it knocks it out though, at least that's good. So I don't have to worry about the Lucario anymore. Dragon use- okay, yeah, we can use items now. Okay, for um, Garchomp that's gonna come out, her big guns, her big main Pokemon. Um, I'm guessing not Jetta for this. This Garchomp is level 66. This thing's a powerhouse. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam. Uh, but I want it to at least do half and not put in the reds. Well, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if she he used another heal and I'm gonna Garchomp. Because I can just easily get it down with another Ice Beam then. Yeah, that does a little bit of half. That's gonna use a Citrus Berry, okay. As long as Jetta can. Stay, you know, conscious and not faint. That'd be great. Okay, it's gonna use Big Break on us. That's not the worst move we could have used on Jedi. I was worried about like Giga Impact or something like that. Okay, Quick Break's gonna do over half. Oh, critical hit. Jeez. Let's go for another Ice Beam then. Hopefully, this fans the Garchomp. I really hope it does. Let's go. Big money, big money, big money, big money. There we go. It fans the Garchomp. Good. That guard jumps out of the way, nice. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Jumps at the rose raid, okay. So let's go for the. I'm gonna switch out to Inferno then. I don't wanna use Foil Blitz because then I'll hurt Inferno's 
and take some of him, him, Inferno's health away. So I'm gonna try with I'm just gonna try a flamethrower and see how much that does. I'm two levels higher. Inferno is two levels higher than this thing, so hopefully we have the um we have a good win against Pot. But this Rosemary does no extra sensory, which will be super effective on Inferno, which that's what I'm worried about because I'm pretty sure Rosemary's gonna use it if it lives and it lived. Cheese. Oh, it's gonna use that. Oh, thank you for using an energy ball. Wow, that's not even a super effective move. It's very not very effective. I kind of looked out there. Anyway, let's go for the um, flamethrower then. Oh yeah, of course it's gonna use floor store. I think that's a last healing item. Well, she may have another floor store, but I'm not sure. That could be a last healing item. Get a critical hit. Get a critical hit. Get a critical hit. Now it's probably gonna use extra sensory. How much you wanna bet that's the case? I'm gonna use flamethrower and hopefully I'm faster than it. Yes, I'm faster than it. Awesome. So the rose rate should go down. It's level 60, but it should go down. It does. Awesome. So now with that, rose rate has fainted, and Inferno gains enough experience to go to level 30, uh, almost at 30 something. Uh, it goes to level 63 now. Nice. Gastrodon. Okay. This Gastrodon is water ground type, so it's only weakness again compared to the same as Quagsire, Birth as Quagsire and, and Bushcash. You want to use a grass type Pokemon. It's really helpful if you use a grass type Pokemon. She has three more Pokemon left, okay. She still has her Spirit Tomb too. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. This should one hit KO it. This thing's only level 60, so... Well, <laughs> it could still live and not be fainted, you know? But there goes the Gastrodon. Nice. Gastrodon's a lot easier to take down than her Togekiss in Platinum. Because in Platinum, she doesn't have a Gastrodon, she has a Togekiss, and that's harder to take down. Spirit Team, okay. Um... Let's see here. I'm gonna go back to. Well, let's see if she 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 has her spirit tomb left, and then she has her she has her what else? She has a myotic. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Karen then. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Dark Pulse. It's neutral effective. I wanna see how much it does. Wow, quite quite awesome. It's just what I needed. So all that's left is a Milotic. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go back to Rose. Big bag Milotic, it's level 63. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, this thing's gonna be hard to take down, even though I have the type advantage too. So, I'm gonna try a couple of Giga Drains. I don't wanna go all pedal dance shit. I wanna see what I can. If I can just weaken it down slowly so it doesn't use a full restore. Because if it gets to the red health, she might use a full restore if she still has one left to use. Okay, it's gonna use Mirror Coat, okay. That's gonna do double back at me or at Rose. So hopefully Rose can still survive this. Are you kidding me? Okay, Mirakoth's just a jerk then. I'm gonna try to end this battle right here, right now. Just she doesn't close combat, honestly. I'm feeling really confident, you know? Let's go for the close combat then. Hopefully this is enough to faint the Myotic. Let's see if it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. So I think we've won. We've won. How nice. Very defeated champion, Cynthia. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And now you've become the most powerful trainer of all trainers. You are now the newest champion. Our newest champion. Yeah, look at that money. <laughs> that was excellent. 
truly an outstanding battle. You gave it the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty, certainty to secure victory. You both have passion and calculated coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come that may come your way. Uh, th those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. Cool. So in Platinum, there's like a better cooler elevator than this in Diamond and Pearl, but that's okay. Oh yeah, look at these cool fours. Nice. I like this music too. Cynthia, the roadhead is the Hall of Fame. Steven, your last battle was splendid. Oh, Cynthia's all shocked. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Steven, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. Yeah, I'm 19 years old. By the time this is uploaded, I'm recording this on uh, January 20th. Gen not January 20th, January 9th, which is a su which is actually a su Sunday, and uh, no, it's a Monday actually. And by the time this is uploaded, my birthday is actually on January 15th, which is a which is next Sunday. So it's like less than a week my birthday is gonna come. Up. I'm gonna become 20 years old, and yeah, by the time this is uploaded, I'll be 20. So uh, you can't call me kid anymore. You can't call me a teenager anymore. I'm a grown adult. I'm 20 years old, man. I'm no longer a teenager even. Wow. Well, by the time this is uploaded, at least, I'm still 19 as I'm recording this. I shouldn't call you a, yeah, okay, a uh, child anymore. You're going into a real champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Pr the Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Steven, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. So we all go into that cool room. It's been a long time. It's been a long while since I've last entered this room. As Cynthia says, if your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Steven, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for uh, posterity here. I'm pretty sure I, misread, I read that word wrong. Uh, what are you leave, leaving? What, what you are leaving are the memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, your Pokemon, your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that go with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Put all the Pokemon in that cool machine that looks like a Pokemon Center healer thing. Yeah. I like this music a lot. Uh, Drago, New Hall of Famer. Karen, New Hall of Famer. Rose Raid, or no, I should say Rose, New Hall of Famer. Bronze, New Hall of Famer. Inferno, New Hall of Famer. Jetta, New Hall of Famer. Thank you, everyone. Who watched my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide? It's a happy day. Rose Red's kind of covered by Garchomp's wing, but that's okay. Garch Inferno is kind of uh, covered up by Rose Red. Yeah, it's a. It took me 53 hours and 15 minutes to um, get this far in the game. Pretty much do a walkthrough guide on it. Uh, at least that's my playtime. So yeah, let's move on with the credits. Say we don't turn off the power. Yeah. It's gotta have to do that apparently. It's saving. It's still saving. There we go. It saved the game. Nice. So here's the credits. I just want to thank you guys all for the support on this walkthrough guide. I know redos, redos, uh, walkthrough guides aren't really that fun, uh, exciting sometimes because you've already seen me play through the game once. But I feel like I need to do this redo walkthrough guide because I I I like got missed a big chunk of my old Pokemon Diamond project because um, I had to form out my SD card on my Sony Ruby HD camcorder, and now I got a chance to show you guys this game, uh, show you guys that I caught all the three like trio Pokemon. I caught Dialga, 
belt and galactic get speed pillow, all that good stuff. Now, uh, for my next project, it's gonna be a Let's Live Stream series. It's gonna be a Mario game. I'll just end it at that. So, like, it's gonna be a Mario game, and I'm gonna be live streaming it. And it'll be my second Let's Live Stream series on my channel. So, hopefully, you guys, you guys like it. I still have to practice for it too, but um, yeah, I hope I get to that soon. You know. Um, all these credits are good. I like how it goes from the bottom screen to the top screen. It's really nice. Although on the layout right now, it's kind of looking weird. Because they're not exactly stacked on top of each other. But yeah. I really enjoyed doing this project. I really liked using another, another team from Sinnoh. I love 4th generation. It's like my second favorite generation. Uh, next to 3rd generation, of course. Uh, it comes after 3rd generation. Because I like 3rd generation the best, honestly. I really liked filming these videos and they were really easy to record and I got through a lot and I um I don't know I just had a really good time with it you know I really liked this walkthrough guide and I hope you guys liked it too and yeah other than that like I don't really have much to say um I am still trying to upload every day but just know whenever I don't upload this first in day, just know that I'm working on new videos as fast as possible. I upload as much as I can. And I hope you guys like my next project. I hope you guys like it. That's going to be a live stream. So you guys can be in the chat with me if you come to the live streams. It's going to be streamed on YouTube Gaming. And it's going to be with my new way. It's one of my way out. Uh, if you look at my um, newest um, live stream currently, it's my current new, my current new, newest live stream is uh, when I when I live stream with Gus and Sam uh, on the 27th of December of last year of 2016. Yeah, and uh, that might not have been my um, newest um, let's play, but um, uh, the day I'm recording this, the time I'm recording this, it is. Just check it that way out, and that's the way I'm probably gonna use for the um, walk uh, for the Let's Live Stream series. Other than that, um, I think I talked about all I wanted to say. I will be doing a little short after game video. It's just me collecting the national decks, but that's really it. It's gonna be a very short video, just showing that I got the national decks from Professor Rowan. So if you guys like it, I won't do the pal part because I it's just on an emulator, so I can't really do like GBA cartridge slots. I was able to do that with my original walkthrough guide. And I did stock mountain, I think, for um, my original Pokemon Diamond walkthrough guide, so that's good, I guess. And Giratina. But I won't be doing it for this file. I just kind of want to move on to another project. I kind of am burnt out on doing Pokemon right now for my projects on YouTube. So I'm going to switch to Mario game, and hopefully that's a good change of pace. Because I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately, and I kind of get kind of sick of it sometimes, well, kind of tired out and exhausted from it, I shouldn't say sick of it, I'm never sick of Pokemon, I'm just exhausted from it every now and then, so other than that, um, I'm gonna just um, let you guys hear this awesome music, and other than that, I really have nothing else to say, so I'll see you guys at the end of the credits. Finn. I didn't know Jake from uh, I didn't know Finn from Adventure Time was in this game. No, I'm just kidding. Finn spells his name with two N's by the way anyway. So that's Finn.